Now I should say straight away, this is a painting that I started probably about nine or ten months ago. It was based on these photographs that I took probably two years ago now on a walk. And I'm using um, gesso board, which I've never used before. It's basically a thin wood panel that's coated on one side for painting. So it, it's quite um, smooth. It's got quite a smooth finish. It's not like canvas at all, which obviously has all the, the uh, is much a rougher surface. So um, you tend to apply the paintbrush more loosely, but with gesso board, because it's so smooth, you have to be more precise um, about your, um, you know, your, your application of paint. And it's a small panel, which actually accentuates that problem. So initially I was, um, obviously I just put on the, the background for the sky colour, start applying the layers, get the, the bit of um, cloud effects on there. The panel actually that I'm using here is it's a 12 by 12 inch and it's about 3 millimetre thick I believe. It's not cheap either but I thought I would give it a go. I'm always interested in, in trying new things and I thought it would be interesting to have a go at this. Um, so I had a very limited pan palette to start with, just for the sky and, and the backgrounds, just to get things going. And the other thing I discovered about the panel is it absorbs an awful lot of paint, so you really do have to apply quite a lot of paint um, on the panel. And initially I had um, a sketch, you can sort of see the pencil marks but they very quickly get painted over and become invisible. So you sort of, I find myself um, creating as I went along. I thought, yeah, that, 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 that effect might be quite nice in there. So I've sort of finished, dappled the sky in. A lot of the sky will be covered over anyway by foliage. So then I started on the foreground, applying quite a lot of paint. You do go through a lot um, because it is very absorbent so we're just getting on start initially get on the layers of paint so the, in this part of the painting I quite enjoy because you can be quite loose with the application of paint and you can um, just go for it basically it's at the later stages when things become more precise and with the gesso board particularly you have to be more precise and use smaller brushes to get um, to get the detail in so I'm just applying layers upon layers different colors I'm using acrylic paint on this and of course the thing about acrylic and gesso I find was that it does dry very very quickly so you do have to work fairly you know, if you, if you if there's any sort of blending involved, you have to work pretty quickly. You can't sort of walk off and leave it. So here's the next stage. I've applied a few bit of the the um, the tree line in the background, a field, and put some of the tree trunks and it's not exactly like the photograph but you know it doesn't really have to be does it it was really more an experiment to see how it get on with using the gesso board and um, I'll tell you later in the video I think my my verdict on using it and every artist has their own style and what works for them and what doesn't work and uh, for me personally, it was it was great to try it. It meant that I could sit down at a table and paint, which was quite quite nice for me, rather than stand at an easel. So we're getting more and more detailed now. Okay, firstly, apologies. Um, my camera ran out of battery. The battery ran out as I was doing the last section so as you can probably tell I've done a, a little bit more mainly filled in more of the foreground put in a few more layers on the trees and so on 
so we're slowly getting there. So I'm just going to do the rudimentary stuff for now and then I'll let the paint dry and then come back to it tomorrow. So this is when I started applying the oils. Now I'm using a very small palette of colours. You can see the oil paint sitting in front of me there in a box. And I bought this because it was on special offer on Amazon. I'd never really used and thought about using oils before, but I thought I would give it a go. And of course oils, it's great for blending, but it takes, it's a long time to dry and you have to be careful when applying it because you can unintentionally blend your colours and make everything look very muddy. And that, that's the, uh, the secret is to try and avoid that. So here I'm just applying, um, we're getting more into the foreground, a bit more detailed. Now that the background colours are, have all been applied, you have to think more about the foreground and and um, and how you want it to look. Now I delayed putting this video, doing this video. I filmed at the time, but I delayed doing editing it or anything because I suppose I wasn't really satisfied with the outcome. It's not one of my best paintings, I admit. Um, it was. You know, it was a trial really for me, but I thought, you know what, doesn't matter. Um, you've got to try these things out, otherwise you don't know for future reference. And you learn, it's learn. you know, learning, it's a learning experience. So here was the, the result after probably a couple of days, I would have thought of uh, working on it and then I switched back to acrylics so the next time I'm I worked on the painting as you can see here I've now switched to acrylic paint and I'm putting on some of the bluebells that are in the foreground I'm working on those now this is probably day, I would have thought this is day three. I haven't got exact um, record of, um, but I know I did it over a three or four day period. Um, and particularly when I, had, when I was using the oils earlier in the painting, I really had to leave a long period for them to dry properly before I could even think about painting over the top of them or around them. But I've done a bit more work on the tree trunks, so they have a bit more texture to them. I'm working on the more finer detail. And um, to be honest, I was quite relieved to get back to using acrylic paint again. I think this is just what you're used to. It's what I'm used to. I know the properties of acrylic and I know what to expect. But... Um, as I said before, it's not one of my favourite paintings. But it was an experiment that I had to do. It was, it was, you know, it was fun to do. But the outcome was, uh, there was just something very dissatisfying at the end of it. I didn't like the tree foliage. It just all looked a bit muddled, a bit, um, yeah, not very satisfying. I quite liked some of the detail in the foreground. I quite liked the the bluebells and uh, the nettles and so on. I quite liked that. There were some parts of the painting I enjoyed. Some of the tree trunks were quite came out quite well. I was quite pleased with them. But I have to say, overall, it wasn't um, a hugely successful painting for me. I didn't feel satisfied. And for a long time I dithered over whether to do anything else with certainly whether to make it into a video or not. But I think it'll be interesting for me to look back on in years to come and think, oh yeah, I remember doing that. So I'm just applying 
detail now on the, the trunk, putting in a bit of light and shadow. I realise I do struggle with that in my paintings. I've noticed in previous paintings as well, I do struggle just to apply a bit of contrast, a bit of sunlight, a bit of natural looking darkness and shadow. I'm not very contrasty when it comes to doing my paintings. That's something I need to work on. But it was fun. That's the main thing. It was fun. So here is the final result. Mm -hmm.